The first mature organism to show promise for this kind of cloning experiment was the common carrot. In plants, many specialized tissues have the ability to produce complete new plants. But the question was, could an isolated root cell, one used only for transporting materials, give rise to leaves, stems, and flowers? In other words, could a complete carrot plant be cloned from a root cell? The normal procedure for culturing plant cells failed to initiate differentiation in root cells. The breakthrough was a key ingredient that came in its own naturally sterilized container, coconut milk. When coconut milk was added to the growth medium of the carrot root cells, they began dividing and lost their specialized character. Given the nourishment they needed, eventually the root cells gave rise to complete carrot plants with their many different kinds of cells. To clone a carrot, a specialized adult cell was made to behave like a fertilized egg. But could this kind of cloning be done with animal cells? Developmental biologists thought it might. They turned once again to tadpoles. For example, could a cell that was isolated from a tadpole's intestine and transplanted into a proper environment produce a new tadpole? The problem here is that unlike plants, Animal cells, very early, lose their ability to produce a complete organism. Even so, a full genetic program for a frog might be locked up in the intestine cell nucleus. The question was, if the genes are there, can they be expressed? The logical environment to receive the intestine cell nucleus? An unfertilized Xenopus egg. In these very delicate experiments, the egg's own nucleus is removed. And now comes the difficult part, replacing it with a nucleus plucked from an intestine cell from a tadpole. 